This question is harder than it looks. Have a go at it. Lock your answer in the comments down below and keep watching to see the solution. There's an extra challenge question at the end of the video, so try that one as well. The first thing to notice is that we have this x plus 1 in the denominator, and this cannot be 0. So we know that x cannot be equal to negative 1. So that's a restriction we have to keep in mind. Okay, with this, let's proceed. We'll cross multiply. We'll get 2x minus 3 is less than or equal to x plus 1. We'll take all the x terms to one side and all the constants to the other. And this will give us x is less than or equal to 4. Okay, so x must be positive 4 or less. But then it cannot be negative 1 due to the restriction we set. This means that the answer in interval notation is negative infinity to negative 1, excluding both, union with the set negative 1, 4, excluding negative 1, but including 4. So you may think the right answer is B, right? No, it's actually wrong. Here's why. You see, when we cross multiplied, we did not flip the inequality sign. You may be thinking, what does that have to do with the question? Flipping the inequality sign? Well, yes. When we deal with inequalities, there are occasions where we do flip the inequality sign. And that's, for example, when we multiply both sides by a negative quantity. We did not flip the inequality sign here. So we're actually assuming implicitly that x plus 1 is a positive quantity. In other words, we're assuming that x is greater than negative 1. Notice that this assumption already takes this restriction in mind because negative 1 is not included. So x greater than negative 1 already incorporates that restriction into account. So now the region actually gets smaller. It's only from negative 1 to 4, excluding negative 1, but including 4. So the correct answer is actually not B, but C. Could you figure it out? Now before you go, let me ask you a couple of questions. What if we do flip the inequality sign? In other words, what if x plus 1 is a negative quantity? How would we proceed from there? Also, we only showed one method, but there are many alternatives. So can you suggest one of these alternative methods in the comments down below? Let me know what you think.